In this presentation, we will learn how to use software to find the natural frequencies and mode shapes of a shear building. I'll be showing you MathCAD, but there are many other software programs that can also be used. To review, recall from the last presentation that the matrix equation of motion for a three-story shear building looks like this, with a mass and stiffness matrices. To find the natural frequencies and mode shapes, we start with this expression from your textbook. We then rearrange slightly, and to find the matrix A, and the scalar lambda n, which leads to the classic eigenvalue and eigenvector equation, with lambda n being the eigenvalue and phi n being the eigenvector. Recall that the shear building looks like this that we worked on before. Now, here is a screen capture of the solution to this problem in MathCAD. MathCAD is nice because it uses units quite naturally. You can even define units as I've done here. Next, I've entered the parameters for the building, and lastly, I have defined the mass and stiffness matrix based on what we saw before, which allows me to calculate the matrix A. With the matrix A defined, I can solve for the eigenvalues using the eigenvals function in MathCAD. Now recall that lambda was omega n squared, so in order to solve for the frequencies, I need to take the square root of lambda. This leads to the modal frequencies. Note that the units are added to it quite naturally. These modal frequencies can then be used to calculate the modal periods. Remember that the period is 2 pi over omega. Now, getting back to the modal, modal frequencies. A three-story shear building has three natural frequencies. And in fact, the number of natural frequencies in, a, in, any, in any size shear building is equal to the number of stories. The first mode has the lowest frequency. And since in this case it's in the first spot of the of the eigenvalues, its corresponding mode shape is also the first mode vector here in the eigenvectors. Similarly, the next highest frequency will be the second mode with its corresponding mode shape. And again, in this solution, the second mode was the second entry in the eigenvalues vector. And so its eigenvector is the second mode shape. And lastly, the third mode frequency and its mode shape are the remaining values. Note that in this case, the frequencies just happen to be in order from top to bottom, and so the corresponding eigenvectors were also in order. But this is not always the case. In some situations, depending on the parameters of the building, the modes may not be in the right order, and so you have to look at the frequencies to determine which mode is the first mode, which is the second mode, etc., going from the lowest frequency to the highest frequency. In this presentation, I've used MathCAD to solve for the eigenvalues and eigenvectors to get the frequencies and mode shapes. However, there are many other software programs that can be used. MATLAB is a very popular program. It's very powerful. It can do eigenvalues and eigenvectors. There is also a program called Octave, which is an open source MATLAB clone. It can be freely downloaded at the website shown. Also, Maple and Mathematica will calculate eigenvalues and eigenvectors as well. Excel can be used. However, it does not have a native eigenvector function. But it is possible to use the solver add-in to calculate one eigenvector at a time. There are also proprietary add-ins available from companies besides Microsoft that can solve for eigenvectors and eigenvalues. So any of these programs or MathCAD can be used to solve for the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix, which can then be used to determine the natural frequencies and mode shapes of a shear building.